Yeah. We know that they die of cardiometabolic diseases. They have increased cholesterol. Uh, so the number one co-medication that is prescribed with levothyroxine is statin. statin. So we are not restoring, as you know, cholesterol goes up in patients with hypothyroidism, yep. but does it go back to normal after uh, the TSH has been normalized? Answer, no. We have to give statin to ensure that the cholesterol remains. So that tells you that the liver, in my, that's, again, I don't have a proof of that because I cannot do a biopsy. In a rat, yes, the liver remains hypothyroid. In a, in a rat with normal TSH treated with levothyroxine. Because, of exactly. course, we could never replicate what the body does when the body's working That's perfectly. That's exactly right. So now, the interesting question is, and I wonder why the FDA never asked that question, because there has never been a single clinical trial with levothyroxine requested by the FDA. FDA, the FDA approved levothyroxine without a trial, without clinical so trials. So in a sense, levothyroxine has also been a grandfathered it has been in grandfathered. drug. It's pre-55 or whatever that is. What was the year? It was year? 1914 that was wow. crystallized, yes, uh, by Ted Kendall at the Mayo Clinic. We don't have a single clinical trial no. demonstrating the efficacy of levothyroxine? No, the efficacy, yeah, it normalizes TSH. Yes, but clinical efficacy. Okay, exactly. For example, if you... Let's look at hard uh, outcomes. Let's look at mortality. Take patients, uh, the control population, and compare with the population with hypothyroidism treated with levothyroxine. Let's look at mortality. We never looked at that. And you know what? Mortality is 2.5 greater in the patients taking levothyroxine with hypothyroidism. We just 